Greetings. As I record this video, we are celebrating Halloween. And of course that means candy and scary stories. <laughs> so what if fear isn't what you think it is? And what if any resistance or fear that you feel around the goals that really matter to you, what if that doesn't have to stop you from taking inspired action, even if they feel like a really big leap right now? Well, if that's the case, if you would love to figure out how to ditch the fear and move into inspired action, then you are in the right place. Let's do this. Hello, my name is Alari Anawa, and I have been a Life on Purpose coach since 2003, and I'm also the author of Just Believe, How Faith in Yourself Shifts Everything. Welcome to this week's message about leaving behind the scary stories and embracing the magic of your heartfelt dreams and desires. So, just a side note, because it's Halloween right now as I'm uh, filming this, did you know that Halloween is the second largest American holiday surpassed only by Christmas? In fact, we spend over six billion, that's billion with a B, six billion dollars annually on Halloween costumes, so on dressing up, on candy, and on scary entertainment venues. So how is it that Halloween evolved into something scary when the word hallowed actually means to be revered, blessed, and divine? Why tell scary stories at all? The answer is very revealing because scary stories are everywhere and they're not limited to the realm of ghosts, goblins, and vampires, oh my. <laughs> All you have to do is turn on the network news or any primetime television, and you'll see scary stories everywhere, no matter what season it is. <laughs> stories of mystery and crime and gloomy reports about the economy or conjectures and fabrications about the motives of the other team or the other political party. <laughs> then of course, there are the scary stories we might be telling ourselves too. You know, when you're affected by a scary story, if you're stopped from going for that big dream, or if you shy away from sharing what really matters to you. Scary stories can be fun or they can stop us from fully experiencing life. So what scares you? Do you have a goal that you'd really love to have, but something keeps you from moving forward? Everyone has a leap that scares them a little or a lot. What's yours? A leap is a jump into new territory because the landscape and the road there are not yet charted. You don't have memories or personal experiences to draw upon because you haven't done it before. You haven't gone there before. Because it's new, you are creating as opposed to recreating. This can be so exciting because a new possibility, a beautiful new experience, or an expanded way of being may come into your life experience. Whether your leap is a heartfelt goal or a desired habit, you're moving into a new neighborhood when you set a new goal, and especially if it feels like a big leap. A leap always points to transformation. If growth wasn't part of the equation, there'd be no leap needed. Sometimes the shift seems so different from where you've been that moving forward feels scary. This is when we want to remember that transformation is a necessary and wanted component of feeling alive. When we grow, we develop new skills, gain confidence, and have purpose and meaning. Contrary to popular belief, change isn't really what most people are afraid of. 
if you have a goal that feels like a big leap, you actually want that change. You want that desired outcome. So the leap itself isn't what's scaring you. Rather, it's what you're making the trip to the other side mean that makes you feel afraid. Anxiety-inducing worry always means that we are scaring ourselves. When we feel that emotion, we are creating fear with the stories we're creating about the journey. We're using our mighty imaginations in a disempowering way and mentally rehearsing unwanted scenarios. So if you're feeling the truth and seeing what's possible when you make the shift from fear to something else, like fun, leave a yes in the comments below. So making a shift and seeing that it's not the actual change or the actual goal or what's, it, it's what we're making that trip mean. This is important because the better we use our imaginations, the more fun we have and the more leaps we take from a place of passion and aliveness rather than fear. And as we prepare for our dreams and desires by leaning into them and getting comfortable with them by seeing ourselves as capable and seeing the fun that's possible, the more excited we become. The fear goes away. We can experience the thrill and excitement inside what we get to learn, inside what we get to feel, what we get to encounter, and who we get to become as we embrace our heartfelt desires. We get to feel alive and have fun and achieve what we want without scaring ourselves. When we nurture the fun and the wanted experiences, we learn to love the leaps because we make them fun instead of scary. If we make crossing the gap, a thousand mile deep ravine with jagged edges and an old rickety bridge that we have to cross, then the journey will naturally feel scary. But what if the gap is really just a bike ride through a beautiful park? Now we have a different story. We can always create something to worry about, just as we can always create something to enjoy and look forward to. This is true for transformation and for moving into new territory. It is meant to be fun. You have a desire and you get to create something new. This is fun. To stop worrying, remember who you truly are. Very capable and powerful, even if you're not feeling that way at the current moment. So rather than following thoughts, that feed worry move into the helpful ride through the park perspective. Ask yourself these questions. What new point of view would make movement and momentum easier and more fun? Would a new skill or someone else's expertise help you close the gap in a fulfilling way? And finally, what do you need to release and then embrace in order to step into your desired experience? I'll also include these questions for you below in the video description. And if you've received something powerful for yourself out of watching this video, give me a thumbs up and share this video with others. This helps YouTube know that there's something helpful here, so they'll share it with others too. So if you ever feel worry coming on, take a deep breath and smile. Get the message that the fear is giving you, which is you are scaring yourself. That's what fear means. Appreciate the guidepost. Then use one or all of these questions in this video to get you powerfully back on track move into possibility, then feeling empowered, and then into joy-filled action. Like an artist working in clay, you mold your life experiences in a very real way. Feed positive possibilities, and you'll move from being hopeful to full-out enthusiasm. Feed potential pitfalls, and you'll just get more worry and create feeling stuck. You can take a leap and feel happy and empowered and worry is not 
required. Invest your faith, your precious currency, in joy, in your abilities, and in your desired outcomes. And of course, if I can be of any assistance, let me know. You can find out how to work with me in the link that I leave below in the video description as well. Until next time, bye for now.